Sutra. In addition, all the great gods, kings from the Saha and other worlds came and gathered together. They were the ghost king Evil Eyes, the ghost king Blood Drinker, the ghost king Essence and Energy Eater, the ghost king Fetus and Egg Eater, the ghost king Spreader of Sickness, the ghost king Collector of Poisons, the ghost king Hydrated, the ghost king Blessings and Benefits, the ghost king Great Regard and Respect, and others. Commentary in addition. Why in addition? It is because not only have so many bodhisattvas and dragons and spirits of the Eightfold Division come to the Chiyashim Sha Heaven, but there are also those from other lands. All the great ghost kings from the Saha and other worlds came and gathered together. Saha is Sanskrit for bearing with patience meaning that living beings have to bear this kind of pain. That is why this is called the Saha world. Other worlds refer to the lands of other Buddhas. We are not limiting ourselves to the Saha world. For the great ghost kings, most people explain all as many. I am different from other people. How? I explain it not as many but as few. In fact, one. Some say my explanation is wrong because this means many, not few or one. I would like to treat it as one. Why? It is because I am really foolish. I cannot remember when there are too many numbers. One is easy to remember, but two requires some thinking. How many is all and all if I treat it as many? It is innumerable, which is problematic so I explain it as one. All is one and one is all. Many is one and one is many. This is how I am different in explaining the sutras. All the great ghost kings in my explanation are one ghost king. Which one? The ghost king that I am talking about now. There is the hateful eyes ghost king, the ghost king collector of poisons, the ghost king cut hearted and one after another. I do not mix them up. In Chinese, this all can also be an auxiliary word to mean all those or all of one. This is my unreasonable explanation of the Chinese word true as one. I am explaining this to you because if I do not, you disagree and think I lectured the sutras wrong. So now I explained it to you. Where did these many come from? Look for its source. The many came from one or even none. Since many came from one, you might count from one. Remember one, you will know about two and three. Deduce along this fashion, you end with one is infinity and infinity is just one. One disperses into infinity. Infinity returns to one. We must return to one as we cultivate. What are we cultivating? We are cultivating this mind. What should we do with the mind? The mind must concentrate. As it is said, reach a singleness of focus and everything is achieved. Reach that single one and there will be no problems. Cultivation is about cultivating this one. Cultivating to focus your thoughts. Once your thoughts focus, you can uncover wisdom. If your thoughts are not focused, then you are tracing for answers outside. If you can avoid letting a thought occur, that is even more wonderful. Not one thought occurs and the entire substance manifests. The six senses move suddenly and they are covered by clouds. Although the Sutra text describes so many ghosts, if you do not even let one thought occur, there is not one ghost. Not only one ghost, but not even one spirit, one Buddha or one Bodhisattva. There is nothing and yet that is when everything manifests. At this time, the Buddhas come, the Bodhisattvas come, Sauturas, those who enlighten to conditions, 
Pratika Bhutas and all show up. Why? Because you are gone. If you were present, they would not come. This is where it is so wonderful and truly inconceivable. It is also a place to true. At the same time, do not mistake true as merely one. Not even one came. All these great ghost kings, but they are all gone. This world vanishes and this world vanishes. What do you have to worry about? No sadness or and worries, no obstructions and impediments. By then, the nature ends, the hearing is quiet, and what is the universe? The human nature, self nature, and material nature end. By this time, you are heaven and earth, heaven and earth are you. You are all Buddhas, all Buddhas are you. So, you are not two and no different. Where is the you, I, or he? How could there be so many marks of the self, marks of people, marks of living beings, and marks of lifespan? Since everything is gone, what do you have to worry about? All the distresses are cleaned up. By that time, it is purity without remainder. Not one thought occurs, and the entire substance manifests. Substance manifests. The six senses move suddenly, and they are covered by clouds. See, such states are really wonderful beyond words. Wonderful beyond words. So never mind the words. Let's not talk about it. No, I like to talk, so I will keep talking. Unspeakable, unspeakable. Who knows what is unspeakable? Speak on what? Speak about all the great ghost kings. All these great ghost kings are really mean. Ghosts are all mean. The ghost I am talking about here has very long legs. How long? I don't know how long. There must be several yards. In general, even some professors in China do not recognize ghosts because their legs are so long that most people do not see where they actually are. This word ghost in Chinese is a homonym for return. The Chinese has a saying about how dying is like coming home, returning to a place of offenses. Ghosts return to their house, their home. Why do they believe their houses are their home? It is because they are lost. Let me try an English homonym for ghosts. Go. They go to their house. Why? Because they think that place is fun, is the best. They run to the mountain of knives, trees, of swords, works of oil. They go and go, go into the house, to the house, to the realm of hungry ghosts, to the realm of animals. So an explanation according to Chinese is returning, while an explanation according to English is going. This is a simple explanation of mine. Now, where did this big ghost go? It. Did not go anywhere. It is in the house. They were the ghost king evil eyes. This ghost has real long legs and mean looking eyes. Evil eyes means when you see how ferocious his eyes are, you tremble. The ghost king blood drinker. He focuses on drinking living beings' blood. He goes to drink beyond anywhere it is found. The ghost king essence, an energy eater, is Isaka in Sanskrit. The light Bhisasha is the Suragama mantra. Is in the Suragama mantra is this ghost king essence, essence, an energy eater. He enjoys eating people's energy and the essence of the five grains. For instance, why do our essence and energy dissipate? It is because this type of ghost sucks your essence and energy away. The ghost king fetus and egg eater. Its undeveloped fetuses. This type of ghost is placentas that fall off of newborns born earlier than expected. He also is ghost. How come he became this type of ghost? 
It is because in past lives he used to like to kill. He will not even share the meat and blood he prepared with his wife, not to mention other people. He eats and drinks his own butchered game, unwilling to share with others. It is a sign of stinginess. That is why he died, and became a ghost king, fitters and egg eater, who is such nasty things. The ghost king spreader of sickness goes around spreading epidemics, contagious diseases. Diseases occur because some ghost king spreader of sickness is distributing them. The ghost king collector of poisons is a good ghost and not a bad ghost. He will suck away any venom you contracted and cure you. This type of ghost is the transformation of bodhisattvas. Who came to save living beings? He does not poison others. Instead, he sucks out your wisdom, your your poisons, no matter who you are. This is a good-intentioned ghost king. The ghost king Kaitertet is compassionate. Also, a ghost enters among the ghosts to save them, so that ghosts develop the body resolve. The ghost king blessings and benefits is the wealth for two spirit. Who bestows and increases blessings, the ghost king, great regard and respect, and others, and all so many ghost kings as described earlier, came to the Tri Yashim Shaheb and to listen to Shakyamuni Muni Buddha explain explain the Earth Star Sutra. Sutra. At that time, Shakyamuni Buddha said to the Dharma Prince Manjushri Bodhisattva Mahasattva, "As you regard these Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, ghosts, and spirits from this land and other lands, who are now gathered in the Chayashim Shaheven, do you know how many of them there are?" Commentary. At that time, what time was that? It was when each ghost king went to Chayashim Shaheb to listen to the Dharma. What are ghost kings? They are leaders among ghosts. Whether these ghosts are good or bad, they are transforms of bodhisattvas. Do not think ghost kings are just ghosts. Ghost kings made vows in past lives to teach and transform living beings using various means. Some pulled in all. Being using compassion, some used feral searchness to tame living beings. These are the two ways of disciplining and attracting. Some being developed their resolve for body when they met a compassionate ghost king who used gather gathering in to teach and transform living beings. Some. Beings met ferocious, looking ghost kings, and they were loved. They are so for body, an example of teaching and transforming living beings with discipline. Since we understand that all ghosts are transformations of bodhisattvas, we know there is really no good or evil ghost king. Where the good and evil come from? From every living being's karmic retribution. When living beings evil karma matures, they see the ghost king evil eyed. When living beings good karma matured, they see the ghost king kind-hearted. Regardless of evil karma or good karma, when it repents, it changes. When evil karma repents, it turns into good karma. When good karma repents, it sometimes turns. Into evil karma, we will not be turned by good or evil karma if we were cultivating the Buddha Dharma. We will only work toward good karma and not turn to evil karma. We will not enter stray. Why do we study the Buddha Dharma? We want to flip over the the and earth over. Flip heaven and earth over, shatter the universe. Why do we want to shatter heaven and earth? Heaven represents good karma. Why? 
earth represents evil karma turned back to good and evil karma of heavenly and earth walk down the paths of goodness and not the path of evil do that and the evil god kings would be rendered powerless the good god kings would be unemployed or retired because they have no work to do i am very happy very unhappy with recorders during my sutra lectures why it makes some of refuge disciples dependent and lazy no one is personally taking notes I notice that everyone is to pay attention and write lots of notes and record everything very clearly. But now, no one takes notes anymore. People do not pay attention when they are listening. They forget when they read. Soon enough, they return everything and said to me, forcing me into retirement. Since both good and bad ghost kings are useless, I, as Dharma Master, am useless too. So, I cannot make good ghosts and bad ghosts retire. If they are out of a job, then I would be unemployed too. I would not have any sutra to lecture on, no lecturer, no audience. Without an audience, what is the point of being a Dharma Master? At that time, Shakyamuni Buddha said to the Dharma Prince Manju Sri Bodhisattva Mahasattva. Manju Sri Bodhisattva is also called Wonderful Virtual Bodhisattva and Wonderful Auspiciousness Bodhisattva. Why is he called Wonderful Virtual? He was born with 10 auspicious signs. Light lit up the entire room. Sri Du overfilled the place Seven gems welled forth from the earth. Hidden treasures magically opened up. Chickens gave birth to phoenixes. Pigs gave birth to dragons. Horses gave birth to chimeras. Cows gave birth to mythical beasts. Millets in the galaxy turned to gold. Elephants have six tusks. He is called Wonderful Virtue because he had his ten inconceivable wonders. He is called Wonderful Auspiciousness because he was born with these kinds of auspicious omens. Actually, this Bodhisattva is no longer a Bodhisattva but a Buddha. He became a Buddha in the past named the venerated King Buddha of Dragon Seed. He became a Buddha in the past. Is he a Buddha now? He became a Buddha in the present too. What is his name as the Buddha now? He is called the Buddha of accumulation of treasures of happiness filled with many jewels. His land is the world of happiness in the north. Manju Sri Bodhisattva is the Buddha, a com accumulation of many jewels. According to the Lotus Sutra, Manju Sri Bodhisattva is the master of Shakyamuni Buddha's master. What does that mean? The Buddha of light from sun and moon lands and had eight sons. The youngest became a Buddha named Burning Lamp. Buddha Burning Lamb, Buddha's master, is Dharma Master Wonderful Light. Who is Dharma Master Wonderful Light? He is Manju Sri Bodhisattva. Shakyamuni Buddha was Burning Lamb Buddha's disciple. He received and the prediction for Buddhahood from Burning Lamb Land and became a Buddha in this life. In terms of generations, Manju Sri Bodhisattva is much more senior than Shakyamuni Buddha, being the master of Shakyamuni Buddha's master. Now that Shakyamuni Buddha came to be a Buddha, Manju Sri became Shakyamuni Buddha's disciple. See how Bodhisattvas do not hang on to any outer signs at all. 
for them there is big or small, high or low, various discriminations. When I lectured on the Vala Sutra, I often told you that the Dharma is equal and level without high or low. Now that we are in this house lecturing on the sutras and explaining the Dharma, there may be my masters or disciples from the past now that you are studying the Buddha Dharma, you will become enlightened and, and realize Buddhahood if you learn to have the way, possess virtual. Perhaps I will request you to my master. The Buddha Dharma is inconceivable. So the wonderful strengths of wonderful virtue and wonderful auspiciousness are examples. Once you understand, then living all master is all Dharma. If you do not understand the text too much, you are wrong in every turn, falling into emptiness based on the unconditioned. I speak extemporaneously when I lecture on the sutras. Sometimes my explanations shatter the heavens and sometimes quake the earth. But I do not care whether the sky collapses or the earth caves in. I do not care at all. There is nothing. All dramas are without a self, without people without living beings and without lifespans. So what does it mean by the Buddha Dharma flourishing? The Buddha Dharma declining proper Dharma, ending Dharma everything is false. Dharma ending Dharma everything is false. Some say Dharma Master, your talks confuse me. I meant to confuse you. If you heart you understand you would not listen to my sutra lecture okay let me keep explaining this confusing sutra bodhisattva mahasattva mahasattva is a great bodhisattva who is great who is this great bodhisattva manjushri bodhisattva shakyamuni buddha asked manjushri bodhisattva as you regard these Buddhas who have come to the heavenly palace, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, gods, and spirits from this land, this world, and other lands who are now gathered in the Jagyashim heaven. Do you know how many of them there are? Do you know how many Buddhas will come to the palace in the Jagyashim heaven to listen to me? Speak the Earth Star Sutra. How many Bodhisattvas? How many Ghosts and Spirits? Are you clear on the exact number? Why do I ask you? Because you have great wisdom, true wisdom, and wisdom that thoroughly penetrates the source of the drama. Now, let me ask you do you know how many? Shakyamuni Buddha. Okay.